So Nicholas begins to reporting, Princess Beatrix is your elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Mrs. boyfriend speaking with the unopened letter, or one of my unopened letters, from, of course, the White House promoting the corporate brand of the United States of America. Now, as everyone is aware of, the President of the United States is on standby regarding um, a situation in Ferguson, Missouri. Now, um, you know, I have no comments about this subject, but of course, I did post on my Facebook blog because I want to give the President an opportunity to speak to the American people regarding this subject. I did post on my Facebook blog regarding the 1960s. I want to address to the international community, the United States nor the free world is not in the 1960s. The 1960s was an era that has come and now has passed. Memphis educators have always, you know, fought with each other regarding the 1960s generation, and they have always been at odds with me, especially a lot of, you know, both educators. All educators have been at odds with me regarding the, the 60s generation, they were, we're in a break of a generation. We're in a new era here in the United States of America. If we were in the 1960s, um, educators would not be a dependent upon our system with the first African-American president of the United States. Not just that, if we was in the 1960s, former President George W. Bush would not be writing me, nor would George H.W. Bush would be reaching for me. We're not in the 1960s in Memphis, Tennessee, nor in the United States of America. So it's not a very um, educated statement to say that we're in the 1960s or even to try to create a spirit of the 1960s. If you really want to know the spirit that we're in, because seasons and political seasons are a heavenly blessing that is granted to you by God. We're in the spirit of me, and I believe in the Christian magic of the church. You know, I'm kind of like hocus focus. So if you really want to know the season that we're in, it's a season of magic, and it's a season, it's a very unique season. It's kind of a biblical season we're in. We're not in the season of the 1960s, and for people to try to create an atmosphere because they're angry with their own personal lives, they're way, way out of character. They have no sense of judgment regarding political seasons and things that are granted to you from God or, you know, the heavens. Our era has passed. We have a new leadership in Washington, D.C. Not only in Washington, D.C., minds have changed, attitudes have changed. Um, a season has come and gone. I think it's time that we move forward here in Memphis, Tennessee, and, of course, the international community, because you cannot force the hand of God. You cannot force the hand of a season. A season has been granted to our president. A season has been granted to President George W. Bush to even reach for me. Seasons have come and gone, and yet people still bicker because I think it's their own personal issues that they're angry with. Personally, I love my world. I love freedom. I love democracy. But don't try to take it out on my generation or other people because you're angry at your own personal lives. You know, a lot of people fought hard in the 1960s, both Democrats and Republicans, but we're not in the 1960s. If we were in the 1960s, those individuals would have the ability to reach higher and, and have a higher calling upon them. And unfortunately, God has given that power to the President of the United States, which is President Barack Obama, and in conjunction with former President George W. Bush and George H.W. Bush. Those men, especially George H.W. Bush, was a gentleman who had extraordinary wealth back then. If anyone who wants to create the 1960s, it should be the Bush family. But they're at peace with what is going on. I think what is going on is personal strife. And I think that they're way out of character for creating it because you're not great as a spirit like me, like the president of the United States, like any of our presidents. And it's making the world, it's making our world look like the third world. The United States is a better nation than this. So, you know, if you can you can try to create a spirit of the 1960s. We're not in the 1960s, ladies and gentlemen. We're in 2014 under the era of Nicholas Pegues, Hocus Pocus. And Nicholas Pegues, you know, is a different spirit and a different per have a different purpose upon this land. I never liked certain people creating friction with me because I like diversity. I never liked certain people being angry with me. But that spirit was granted to me. And the spirit was granted to the president, which is President Barack Obama. And it was granted to the Bush family. Don't play with certain spirits in high places. That is biblical. I think if you read the Bible, it speaks of principalities, of spiritual weakness, wickedness, and darkness in high places. I would like to once emphasize to all of those, don't play with my spirit. Nor the presidents of the nor the presidents of the United States. We're one country. 
under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. May God bless America. And Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. I love your original myth is Bia Bia and Hocus Pocus. Nicholas Pegues, address regarding Ferguson, Missouri, before the president's speech.